Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Tanak and I'm an artist and an art therapist. Today I will be showing you a few sensory art activities for your toddlers. During this lockdown period, we have an abundance of time at our hands. The kids on the other hand have no free space to learn what they would in school. So let's utilize this time to help and enhance their sensory growth. Sensory art is based on neuroscientific research, psychological theory and expressive art therapy. Practicing sensory art focuses on the brain's capacity to adapt and develop pathways to learning through stimulation of the senses. Sensory art activities have been shown to produce changes in the brain that reflect improvements in enhanced attention skills, cognition with participants often showing significant gains in emotional awareness, communication, coping, creative thinking and sensory information processing. Young children naturally approach art with a process orientation. They enjoy the process of creation, the energy and movement of their bodies and the sensations of the materials. Although they may be proud to see a picture later hung on the fridge, they are often equally happy to just leave it behind when they are done. Creative art making can offer unique ways for children to gain a sense of control and mastery of their environment, grow in self-expression, self-awareness and self-esteem. Sensory art encourages fine motor skills, neural development and problem solving abilities and it can be used effectively to teach and understand other key subjects such as reading, writing, math and science. benefits of sensory art activities is that it activates and discharges the energy through movement, relaxation and self-soothing through engagement of the senses, being more in touch with your body through a focus on the senses and motion, mindful awareness as you focus on the present moment and the process, practicing non-judgmental acceptance of the art stepping away from the perfectionism or overthinking, opening yourself to new experiences and, un and unexpected outcomes, brain integration and healing, learning new techniques that can bring richness to all your art, allowing emotions to naturally arise and be expressed. Gripping a paintbrush, drawing dots and lines, mixing colors, cutting with scissors, controlling a glue stick or squeezing a glue bottle, kneading or rolling play-doh, tearing paper. All of these tasks require increasing amounts of dexterity and coordination, yet they are so fun and rewarding that children want to do them over and over again. As kids engage in art activities over time, their fine motor skills improve. Thank you.
Allowing our brains the freedom for some free expression, even by doodling, can have a wonderful impact on how we process, retain, and share information. Open-ended, process-oriented art is nothing but an endless opportunity of making choices, coming to conclusions, second-guessing decisions, and evaluating results. Children become more comfortable with uncertainty and remain flexible thinkers, which is key for creativity and confidence. And the more experience they have with a variety of materials and techniques, the more likely they are to try new combinations and ideas. activity that can employ all the senses sight sound touch smell and taste depending on the activity children's brain synapses fire away as they experiment and create squishing pain between their fingers mixing colors and materials or drawing from imagination or what they see in front of them so much for watching this video and i hope you all learned something new and would try these activities with your toddlers and stay indoors and stay safe and have a very creatively productive isolation period